So, Infinite Flight just released a new update. It's the 22.8 with the Embraer E190 and a couple of different liveries. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to butter some of these planes. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the 737. If you don't have Pro, you'll be restricted to the 737-700. It has a lot of liveries, which I've tried out all of them during my because I didn't have Infinite Flight Pro and I got bored. So, let's try United Airlines. So, I'm just going to log in and into here. Sorry, it might be a bit loud. I think it might be a bit loud. So... I'm going to, I wonder if I can just put it all down to zero. See if it still goes. Okay, there we go. Now it's gone. So, first thing I want you to do, what I do, my trick, I just put my throttle up to 49 and... Then I go to the normal view, press short final, and I just start to do a little bit of descent. So right at about about here, just tilt it up a little bit and keep going. Sometimes you, you go too far up and a really slow landing, but get the point you can butter it so you can oh no you can butter it I just put it down to 49 so for me it works more with the 737 800 I like to use Ryanair um, because it's not really a Butter machine, you know. Yeah. So put it down to forty nine and just start to tilt your device a bit. Sometimes it's very hard, but you just need patience and take your time. So as you can do, they just did kind of a butter there. So Another thing I want you guys to do is to carefully monitor your aircraft's behavior. If it's lighter aircraft, you might put bigger power. But as I do with the E190, I don't use the power. With my Tap Express, I can literally just butter it. And I just slowly do the little descent. You don't have to pull up your device very, very highly. Otherwise, you're going to stall and eventually crash. So that wasn't one of the most perfect landings. But that was fine instead of, you know, something really bad. And CRJ, also that's what you need to do. You need to put up your throttle a bit higher. Now... The CRJs are harder to do. They are very light and always turn into the breeze. You need to carefully pull it up or down because it's very, very hard. As you can see, I'm struggling and now it's going back up. The CRJ is very, very hard to butter. So if you don't butter it on the first try, you're not alone. You can see, I just buttered that there. And now it's going up. No idea what happened there. And I buttered again. So, best plane you start with, if you want to butter, if you're under no subscription, I would suggest an A321 using JetBlue. The JetBlue A321 is the 
one that works best on me and that I can butter one time couldn't even feel it from the cockpit. So first, put your power to zero because on these heavier planes, you don't need that much power to land. So just carefully tilt your device. Not tilt, just go up and down, up and down. Now, if you are on the Pro subscription, I'd suggest an A330 because it is the butter machine. Air Canada, Air Canada, love to butter. Always works for me. I do not know why. And if you want to butter an E175, you also use Air Canada or the private Tulip one. You can see that was quite a hard landing, but not as hard as Ryanair. So, with, you can butter quite a lot of aircrafts quite easily. All you need to do is have patience and have time. As you can see, I'm just going to pull out my E-175. Air Canada is one of my favourite and it helps me butter so quickly. Usually, I use Air Canada or the private tulip for my butter. And I think... Yeah, Air Canada is quite good. As you can see, I'm going pretty fast. And there we have it. I butter that. Not on the center line, though. Because if you want to butter on the center line, it requires much, much more skill. And also, what I use is the Qantas 787, which is also pretty good at buttering. So, my best things for butter... I would say is the 787-9 Qantas, the E-190 for Tap Air Portugal, the, the E-175 for Air Canada, the A-330 for Air Canada, and the A-321 for JetBlue. And that's... It's literally how you butter